Welcome back to part number three of color grading tutorial of GH5 footage shot by Newman Films. Thank you so much Luke for providing us with this amazing footage and today we're going to be looking at this shot. I was going to do a color grading on this shot um, as another additional lesson but I figured it's pretty much too simple there is nothing really we can <clears throat> do interesting over here it's very simple straightforward shot so which is going to be working with this shot instead okay so let's start our color grading I'm gonna turn on RGB parade and we have a camera that doing this little pan around very cinematic shot so let's try to make it like a movie let's give it a movie grade okay so the first thing I'm gonna do uh, we don't have too much blacks over here so I think the noise is not gonna be an issue and if I zoom in we can actually see that the image it's pretty clean despite the compression we have some chroma noise which we can clean up a little bit by introducing number 10 okay so now the noise turned into pleasant film grain okay I'm still gonna label this as noise reduction okay I'm gonna create a new node and in this node I'm gonna start using the film look slot okay and by the way you don't have to use LUT it's just my favorite look I like that's why I always like using this particular LUT okay so create a new node and in this node we're going to compensate for a little bit of exposure after we introduced LUT so I'm gonna dial it down just like this looks very nice very clean so I'm gonna call this one exposure and now I'm gonna create a new node and I'm gonna give it saturation just like this we're gonna call this saturation okay perfect so we have pretty much halfway there let's check it out before and after let me do full screen and let's take a look before and after before and after that looks very very nice perfect so what we can do let me combine all those that way they're not on our way I'm going to create a new node and I'm gonna turn it into a parallel mixer and here I'm gonna create a node called relighting and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select gradient node I mean uh, gradient window I'm sorry and what I'm gonna do here I'm just going to introduce a little bit of light just like that okay we have a very nice feather okay and I'm gonna introduce a slight warmth into that light just like this that way our shot looks a little more interesting and because I added some light I have to compensate by introducing a little bit of contrast that way it doesn't look awkward or anything like that okay so let's check it out like that is perfect actually I probably can even move this thing over here just like this like that looks great and my phone is buzzing being annoying sorry about that okay it looks great now let's check out the whole shot very beautiful so now we sort of introduced a very interesting color split okay I really like the direction where we're going however I also like to keep now that we have bright area over here I also like to introduce some light over here I'm gonna call this relighting number two and over here I'm just gonna use a simple window just like this probably gonna make it even bigger like that and over here I'm gonna give a little boost to midtones just like this I'm gonna compensate again with a contrast and here I'm gonna give it a little bit greener feel just like that that way we have both contrasts in one picture okay so I'm gonna have a very nice feather okay and what I'm gonna do now I'm just going to track this I'm gonna have all those things checked and I'm gonna track forward 
just like this beautiful very nice very good track everything holding pretty well and let's check it out the effect of that so let's see before let's see and after before and after as a matter of fact let me turn on the full screen and let's check it out before and after before and after we definitely brought a lot of light in this particular shot now <clears throat> I'm gonna create another note and this note is gonna be a little bit experimental I want to see if I actually can push slightly more color into pretty much greens but it's going to be experimental so i don't know if it's going to look good or not so let's see let's introduce more saturation individually okay uh not bad i'm gonna call this saturation number two not bad and now i'm just going to dial it down only 30 percent so let's check it out before and after before and after and that definitely brought a lot of color pop into this shot right over here so let's check it out the huge difference of digital relighting look at that amazing difference but for some televisions this water over here may be slightly a little bit too bright so let's see if we can compensate that and we're gonna call this water and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the qualifier right over here let's highlight it okay so now we have water only the brightest okay like this and let's see if I can crank it down slightly okay once once you bring it down the image kind of falls off so let's see if we can okay let's see if we can do it like this no we're just slashing it Okay, let's see like that and like this let's check it out okay we cut it a little bit so that works better definitely before and after before and after very very nice now we have a really cinematic shot and again if we want to do a little bit more if we want to do a little extra step let me let me combine all those nodes that way they're not on our way after our lot we can do a pastel look like i was showing in my previous tutorial so we're gonna cut down a little bit on the highlights just like this and we're going to introduce a grain okay let's turn off the film color let's use gpu that way it works faster and i'm gonna do super 16. okay so let's check it out before and after before and after again this look i'm gonna call it pastel this look is very unique this is not something that you would just slap on a project and call it a day but it makes very interesting washed out difference in particularly if that's what something that you're looking for anyways thank you so much for watching stay tuned for final tutorial on gh5 and i'll see you soon